It's exciting to speak to Australian rock royalty. Or well, should I say Kiwi royalty? Um, well, I was born in Australia. I've still got, for some reason, I've got a Kiwi accent. I don't know what happened. I was in New Zealand during those like teenage years when you, your accent get like locked in. And I'm, I'm moving to LA in January, so I don't know. I'm going to end up with the most messy, disgusting accent by the end of that. You've been writing some of the biggest songs for the Australian songwriters in the past five years, is that correct? Yeah, so I've just been writing heats with all kinds of different artists, you know, like Guy Sebastian, Delta, and like uh, Tina Arena, which were nominated today. So, you know, and also a bunch of international guys as well now, so um, working on the new Scissor Sisters record over in, over in the States. And actually, a good friend of mine, um, Ben, who's also known as Mr. Hudson, who's Kanye's producer, um, brought me in on that project. Yeah, so he's actually, he's actually over here at the moment, and we're working together on a whole bunch of different stuff. We've got a session with Vera Blue coming out in Montaigne. And so, yeah, we're working together on a lot of different projects. So he brought me in and, and with Jake, and we had just really connected and sort of went from there. So, yeah, yeah. And you did mention Delta Goodrum, she's a personal favourite of mine. And I've just got to say, Just Call is one of my favourite songs of all time. So thank you so much for writing that. I know we wrote that, and we're whole, there's a few others that I think are on the cards for the next, next, her next record as well. So Incredible. that's exciting as well, you know. Uh, yeah, because I knew that you guys were writing many times. Yeah, I know. It's like four other songs that are still floating around. That are. Uh, I know, I know. But you know, no, she's awesome. She's awesome. Um, and what about Evermore? I was a massive Evermore fan. I loved the Truth of the World album. Very yeah. conceptual. Yeah. Um, and did it end there? I, I couldn't remember exactly. No, we did. We've done. Uh, four albums now, yes. but um, yeah, it's kind of on the back burner now. Like to be honest, it's more. Uh, it's kind of. I'm just so busy with other stuff right sure. now, so it's just not at all in the cards. I mean, obviously, being brothers, it's not like broken up or anything, because you know we hang yeah, out. We hang out all the time, but yeah, yeah. There's no plans at all at the moment to do any more, any more music. Oh great. Yeah. Oh no, not great. Sorry. I'll, I'll <laughs> oh, you must really. <laughs> no, maybe have like a comeback tour. When was so when was the last album released? It's about 2011, I think. 11. Okay, so. Yeah. Like not five not years. a five, five. You could do a five year reunion. Nah, nah. Sorry, man. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just working with so many awesome people, and yeah, so I don't yeah. know. There's just so much booked for next year already. That okay. And I'm moving to LA, so it's like exactly. Yeah. I well, just got back. We miss so. you. Australia misses you. I don't think there is any like big pop rock. Not pop rock, but like yeah. The, the sort of rock bands that are out there now are like psychedelic, like Tame Impala. Yeah, no. There's a lot of good bands in Australia. There but always I feel is. like there's a void we're missing. We're missing Evermore. Okay, man. I'll keep bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> so great Thanks, to bro. Thanks so much. Man. All the best. Have a good one. Thank you. You too.